Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode in this discord.py tutorial series. In this episode we will see how we can use our bot to send personal messages to certain users and also how we can reply to messages sent by a user to a channel. So yeah, with that said, let's get into the video. So first of all, what I would like to do is print the message and see what information we get about the user. So let's do print. Let's run our script, let's go on Discord, and then let's send a message, so test. And if we go back, as you see, we get an object, and as you see, we get certain information about our message. Now, what I want to focus on is the author. Now, as you see, we get a value called author, and author has certain information about our member, but you probably don't see it here, but it also has a hidden functionality which we can use to send a message to that author using the author information. So let me show you how we can do that. So what we can do is we can say await and then we can say message, then we can get the author. So instead of getting the channel, so message to channel.send. So instead of sending a message to the channel, we will send a message to the author and then we can say hello user. But now what I want to do is in case he sends a command in the wrong channel. So in the previous video, I showed you how you can restrict channels and only allow commands in certain channels. Now what I want to do is use this functionality and then first of all, delete the message in case it's not in a bot commands channel and also send the user a personal message saying, hello, it's not okay to send commands in the channel you send the commands to. Instead, send the command to the bot channel. So yeah, let's do that. So first of all, let's just test it so we know it's possible to send personal messages. So now, in whatever case, if we send a message to the chat, we should get in a personal message, hello user. So let's go back on Discord, let's do a test, one, two, three. And then there we go. So as you see, we got a personal message and it says, hello user by Michael the bot. So let's go back. And now what I want to do is use this down here. And we can say this. Actually, what we can do is we can use F so we can pass certain parameters to all our string and then we can say you can use commands in channel now channel and we have defined it up here which is the channel name so let's rerun our script so for example whenever i go to general and then i send a command so in normal messages it will not do anything so as you see nothing happens but if i send a command so dot my dot help it deletes the message and then we get a personal message and it says you can use commands in general. Now general, maybe we can do hashtag general. Now the next thing I want to show you is how you can reply to messages. So basically let me give you an example of what I mean. So if I send a message, test, and then go to my alt account, go to general and basically what I want to do is make the bot reply to that message like so so this is our reply to this message right here so let's see how we can do that so what we can easily do is await and then message dot reply and then we can reply to that message with this message right here so let's run our script Let's go back on Discord and let's say test. And as you see, the bot replies to my message, but what happens here is the bot starts replying to itself, replying to that message. And it goes on and on. So to fix that, what we can do is check if the message is being sent by the bot and if it is, do nothing. So let's go back. Let's say print message. 
and then see what information we get from the bot reply message. So let's go back on Discord. Let's say test. And let's go back and let's scroll up. So all these messages right here are sent from the bot. And what I want to do now is find something that tells me this message was sent from the bot. And as you see, I got it really quick. So what we can do is say message dot author dot bot. And then if that's true, then it is from the bot. So what we can say is if message dot author then dot bot equals to false. And if it is, then do everything else. So this should fix our problem. So let's try it again. So let's say test. And then we should get only one reply. And, and as you see, it doesn't reply to itself anymore. And yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you like to see next. Also, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, as it helps your YouTube algorithm a lot. And also subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future episodes. In the next video, I'll show you how you can host this bot to Heroku. And Heroku is a cloud service which is free. And basically, what we will be doing is running the script on the cloud 24 7 so you don't have to run it on your computer locally and it's free so yeah with that said whenever the video is out you can click right here and yeah see you in a bit